In 1996, at age 15, Grace Akalo was abducted from a boarding school in northern Uganda. She and 30 other girls were taken to Sudan and forced to join Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance. This is our story. The suffering, the pain, the, the torture that there was sub, we were subjected to as inhuman, um, I don't think any child, uh, any human being, unless the child, should go through it. And we ended up in being taken, and I spent seven months in captivity. I, I, I always say that place was like a grave. It's like you've gone to the last place ever on earth. For me to be forced to kill another human being, that really altered my, um, it's like psychologically affected me so bad. And when they gave me a gun, I, at first it was very difficult, but it came with survival for the fittest because you had to shoot that gun to be able to get food. You had to go to fight to f the front line to be able to eat or survive. Grace managed to escape captivity and was determined to complete her education. I used to all isolate myself a lot and more so was not because uh, I'd suffered. Yes, I had suffered. I'd been beaten, I'd been sexually assaulted, but mostly because I'd left my friends behind. I felt guilty of surviving. I felt guilty of being free. School was the best place that I could be. Education gives hope. Like, I have a hope of a future. Even if I'm not going to get a job, but I have a hope. I'm, I'm, I'll be looked at as a a contributing member of the society. I have uh, examples of uh, my friends who also got a chance to go to school and they're, some of them spent more than uh, three years in captivity. Uh, well, some of the children who spent more than uh, 10 years in captivity, they still came back and with the right support, with the right um, with the, giving them a second chance, education, training, um, acceptance in this society, they can get better. Grace Akalo now has a master's degree in international development and social change from Clark University in Massachusetts. I have to do something. I have to use the, the life that I was given for a purpose, not to mourn over what happened to me. A spokesperson for children affected by armed conflict, Grace founded United Africans for Women and Children's Rights. You look at it this way, those girls are still suffering. They're still in pain. They're still being beaten. They're still being rejected. They still don't have homes or family support or resources or education or health, nothing. And I sit down and then I mourn, no. It, will, it is, um, maybe someday when there's peace, I'll sit down and cry for myself. But right now, I think what is happening needs to be stopped. <laughs>